you all are in for a treat. This is uh, a dear personal friend um, who is not only gonna make an exclusive announcement today about something Domino's just launched, um, but he's gonna walk through both from an innovation standpoint and a digital really creative and store op standpoint. He, he really oversees all of these groups. He is now officially the chief digital officer at Domino's. Um, he's been instrumental in not only adding foods to their menu, such as tots, I can't think of an appropriate Napoleon Dynamite joke, but you know, Napoleon, give me your tots. Like something like that needs to go here. Um, but he also was very, very instrumental in helping launch the order with your mind. So I don't know if you guys had seen this capability. Uh, my kids had a lot of fun with it uh, through the app, but uh, I'm a huge fan of CTM, or Chris Christopher Thomas Moore, and I know you will be too. My children are, my family are, my clothes hate him but you will love him. So please help me welcome CTM. Hey! All right, oh, you guys are hyped up. Y'all been drinking a champagne, I see. Okay, okay, I like it, I like it. Well, hello everyone, my name again is Christopher Thomas Moore. Most people call me CTM, Chief Digital Officer for Domino's, and I'm super, super excited to be with you guys today to talk about customer journeys and how brands are reinventing themselves as customers are evolving. But first, got to take a little you know, ad break to talk about Domino's a little bit to help you guys learn a little bit about who we are in, in the brand. So how it started. Over 60 years ago, we started, uh, the brand was founded by Tom Monahan and his brother in Ypsilanti, Michigan. Um, that V bug was delivering products and food. Uh, before anybody else was. And so like we kind of were the inventors of the food delivery space. And um, you know, that little shop in Ypsilanti uh, became now the number one pizza brand in the world. So um, that's nice, right? He's, <laughs> uh, he's doing really well. Um, <laughs> so, you know, uh, some fun facts about Domino's. So uh, we have over um, 34 million ways to make a pizza at Domino's. Um, I hope each of you try each one of those. Um, our fastest pizza bake, uh, maker, uh, Mr. Joff, can make three large pizzas in 70 seconds, which is insane to see in person. 95% um, of our franchisees started off as drivers or insiders inside of our stores. We definitely promote and grow within. Um, we have over 20,000 stores and over 90 markets. We employ over 350,000 people through the brand, uh, about $17.5 billion in revenues last year. And 80% um, of our business in the United States is driven by digital channels. So um, we're a big brand. So, a lot of dough. All right, so, um, so now that was the, the Domino's break and now we'll jump into the content. So, you know, the first thing is we kind of talk about the, the needs of the evolving customer and, and where our industries and as marketers we're leaning in. I think the first thing that we all have acknowledged and continue to acknowledge is that the world is continuing to change and evolve post pandemic, right? The pandemic was such a strong pivot for so many of our businesses how we're communicating, what we're communicating about, and even you know, years later, still relevant conversations that we're having. Um, but post-pandemic, things are not the same as they were before. Things are not the same as they are in the pandemic. The world is changing. And so this uh, massive eye chart was created by uh, McKinsey and Company, and it's probably like a year and a half old. But I thought that this was really interesting. It's way too much to read. So I'm just gonna highlight some of the iconography. If you look at the top right corner, um, there are two icons at the top, one for timeshare and one for wallet share. And then the arrows below show blue, meaning that there was an increase in that activity, white, meaning that there is a um, stabilization there, and red, showing a decrease. So there's no way um, in the time allotted that you're gonna have, that I have, that I'm gonna ask you to read everything on here. But I'm gonna ask you guys to do the squint test. You guys know the squint test? So go ahead and squint your eyes and look at this slide and really look at those arrows, right? That's the important part about this, air, this, this chart, right? The white arrows mean things are stable. There's not a lot of white arrows on this chart. Things are moving up 
down. Our share of time has changed drastically. The different tools that we're leveraging on a day-to-day -day basis, um, you know, our activities have changed and are continuing to change. Um, and so I think for me, this chart highlights that nothing really is stable in kind of the status quo. And so I think it's really important as marketers and as organizations that we continue to challenge ourselves uh, to make sure that we're just not doing things because they were the things that we did before, right? That we're actually looking at the need states, the current need states of our customer and addressing them in the things that we do on a day-to-day -day basis, right? Because it's all changing. And so at Domino's, we have um, you know, a big push for relevancy. You know, we find that our messages, our creative, our innovations have real breakthrough when they're relevant. That's not like a super like aha moment, but it's a big deal to be relevant in a very evolving environment and maintain that relevancy. So one of the ways that we do that is that we lean into what we call tensions. And so for us, we view that a good brand message, a good brand action generally involves some level of tension. And for us, attention is a coiled discomfort, um, you know, in a society, in an environment, in a household. Those are those tensions that we find that if our brand can directly address those tensions, that's when we generally have the most powerful breakthroughs in our messages and our innovations. So when we look at tensions, we really look at them from three angles. So the first is the tension of the consumer and the customer. So what's happening in their lives? And, and many times it has nothing to do with us as a pizza brand, right? It's about what's happening in their day-to-day -day lives. Two is what's happening in this, the broader culture, you know, from a societal standpoint. What are some of those tensions that exist, the things that our customers are faced with on a day-to-day -day basis that if we wanna be relevant, we have to lean into and address. And then lastly, from a category, from a brand standpoint, what are those tensions that our brand and category are facing on a day-to-day -day basis? So we're gonna do a little exercise and I'm gonna walk you through a tension map for a recent um, release and innovation that we did uh, just a few months ago. So first up, like the little Venn diagram, yeah, thank you. Uh, <laughs> so first let's talk about the cultural insight that is current, one is that you know, we're, we're getting back to some of those pre-pandemic behaviors, right? There have been things that have changed, but there are certain aspects, because I don't know about you, but I feel like I'm way busier than I was before. I'm going, moving, shaking a lot more because as a customer insight, we realize that, you know, we're constantly on the go now. We're getting back to that routine of being out, outside, as people say, I'm outside. And, um, you know, for us, from a food standpoint, Finding food on the go um, in a convenient fashion is really challenging, because why? Because from a category insight, those drive through lines are ridiculous, right? And no one wants to sit and wait for 20 minutes to get a burger, right? And so when we look at this kind of convenience, on the go, consumer trend and tension that is existing, that's where the idea for us to move forward with the launch of our Apple CarPlay um, innovation started. And so we are um, not the first, but we're the best restaurant CarPlay app out there that you can find. So I hope that all of you try it out. And this is how it all came together in a national ad campaign. Stop waiting in line at drive throughs just to place an order. Use the Domino's app on Apple CarPlay instead. Domino's? Yes. And say goodbye to the drive through with every tap. Okay, what should we get? Ooh, pineapple, mushroom, pepperoni. Order carry out on the go using the Domino's app, now on Apple CarPlay. Enjoy. Yay. Didn't... Nobody clap, that hurt my heart. So um, that, that is really the, the tension that we're really pulling at, right? And you see that tension map come to life and not only the innovation that we developed, which was the Apple CarPlay app, 
but you also see it's come to life in the actual stories and the messages that we use to promote this new innovation and technology that we launched at Domino's. And so introducing the Apple CarPlay app for Domino's. And if you haven't used it, try it because it's really, really cool and I, I really like it. But uh, what you could do through this CarPlay app is really cool because um, as you're driving safely, you can leverage the Apple CarPlay app to place an order in two ways. One, you can call and that call will connect from where your device is and where your car is to where the closest Domino store is so that you can order that food based off of where you're going and where you're moving currently. Then, you know, you can go through that process. It's a very safe way to, to order, but we also have another safe way, which is through our easy pay, or, or using your easy order or recent orders to place the orders that you really love from Domino's and making it really easy through a few clicks within the interface. And so this shows that, that example of reordering your easy order, your common order that you normally have through the Domino's CarPlay app. What's also really cool is that integration of Tracker. So Tracker is part of our DNA. In 2009, we launched a tracker because before that, ordering a pizza was a black box. You'd order that pizza and you just pray that you get it at the time that you really need it, right? And so with the tracker, you see all the steps that it's going through and especially for an on-the-go consumer, it's really important because what's better than a hot pizza? Nothing, thank you, thank you. And so there's nothing better than a hot pizza. So making sure that you arrive to that store at the right time is critically important. And so the tracker is a really important part of that experience. And so again, this is leaning into that tension of convenience on the go, moving at a fast pace. And it's where we all are and have been moving and continue to move as a society and as a community. And so when we think about this tension map, it's not kind of a one and done activity. What's really important is that you kind of learn from those tensions and really start to continue to address those need states of your customer in different ways, right? And so what we say at Domino's is a fanatical obsession with your customers, it just wins every time, right? If you lean in on your customers, you bet on your customers, you understand your customers, I find that every time that we do that, we're really, really successful because that's where the breakthrough, it's relevant. That makes, it, it's something that applies to their day-to-day -day lives. And so for us, that fanatical obsession into continuing to understand convenience and how we can help our customers, right, uh, continues with our newest evolution. So yesterday, there was a lot of press around Domino's with our newest innovation and this prior conversation that we had on CarPlay really focuses on that carry out business, right? You're on the go, drive out of that store and pick it up, but we're super excited to launch a new delivery solution as well. And so yesterday we announced the launch of what we call our pinpoint delivery. And so uh, pinpoint delivery is uh, a first of its kind and leveraging some of the newest technologies that Google has, we are now able to be the first brand where you can drop a pin and have pizza delivered just about anywhere. Hey! Oh, this is my turn! You can now have Domino's drop to a location near you with new Domino's Pinpoint Delivery. Just choose Pinpoint Delivery on the Domino's app, drop a pin on the map, and get pizza delivered just about anywhere. You are? Thank you. It's Domino's Pinpoint Delivery. Oh, you guys clap. Thank you. I appreciate that. So I'm um, super excited about this because it really is a game changer for um, the entire delivery space, right? We had um, launched hotspots in 2018. And when we launched hotspots, they were preset delivery, our delivery zones that our franchisees created where we could deliver pizza. So you could get pizza at a beach or a park, but it was a fixed list of, of locations. And now with Pinpoint, we kind of broadened that list to be you know, nearly infinite of so many possibilities from campsites to, you know, in front of this building to wherever you might be, you know, finding and providing access to our product is now possible in a way that it never was with, with pinpoint delivery. And so pinpoint delivery is only available within the Domino's app. 
And again, it's leveraging some of the newest technologies that are available from Google that are doing a few things. One, it's helping identify you know, safe pullover locations for our drivers to make sure that their safety is a priority. Um, and secondly, it's providing all of these territories and opportunities uh, for those customers to have access to the pizza. So when you go on the Domino's app, because I am very much certain that everyone in this room has downloaded the Domino's app, right? You all have it. It's your number one choice for food, right? Right, right, okay. And so on the Domino's app, when you download it, you'll go to the very bottom, you'll see the option for, uh, for our new service of the pinpoint delivery. When you click that, um, takes you into the experience, and there's really, it's really simple. It is literally dropping a pin, find where that pin is dropped. And then we track your driver so you can see the GPS, uh, the GPS of that driver coming to you. And um, then we give you actually walking directions, just in case you know, you're not sure how to get to where that pin drop is. We tell you how far you are from it and when you need to start walking to get to that location. Um, and then that's it, you just meet the driver at their car and you can pick up that order in all kinds of crazy different new places. So we're super excited about the launch of this and, and what it does to continue to lean into that tension that is still relevant of convenience and being on the go. And that's pinpoint delivery. So try it out, I hope all of you you know, get the experience it because it's really cool. So I'm moving really fast. I'm ahead of schedule, which never really happens. But, um, but I'm gonna take you guys through kind of these key tenets for what we view as very important as we think of how does our brand continue to stay relevant and continue to push and lean into consumer trends and the need states of our, our consumers. And we call this our, our key tenants at Domino's. And so the first one is about the revolution and embracing the revolution. So, you know, things are constantly changing. Our environments are not the same and they change daily, weekly, monthly. And, you know, as brands, it's really important that we understand these dynamics of the environments that, that we live in and that our consumers live in. And there are changes that are happening and we need to embrace those changes and we call them the revolution and get on them. And so for certain things, it's important for Domino's to not only participate in the revolution, but get in early so that we can help drive and understand how that change impacts our brand, right? So from, what's the buzzword right now? AI, AI thank you. And so for like AI, I'm like, oh, AI is the buzzword right now. And so for us, it's the question of, okay, there's buzz about it, but what does that mean for us? How do we leverage these technologies to influence the behaviors of our team members and our customers on a day-to-day -day basis? And then how can we lean in to help drive the direction of where these models and these activities, these technologies, these innovations are going? So embracing that revolution is part of that. Practicing uncommon honesty. So back in 2010, we launched our campaign that we call our turnaround campaign, where we came out and said our pizza set. Right, and how ballsy is that to, for a brand to say your product is not good? But we addressed it, we reformulated, and we won so much loyalty from our customers by being uncommonly honest with them. And so we find that that transparency, just like the tracker showing where your pizza is, even if it's not moving as fast as we want to, that uncommon honestly, honesty drives loyalty and, and trust from your customers. And so we view that as an important tenant. Defining the why behind everything, we don't do things just to do them. We do them because they have meaning and we do them because we have a goal and an intention in mind. So we are not gonna jump on, you know, chat GPT just because everybody else is. You know, we have to understand really what is the activity and how does it actually influence our brand and what's the intention behind it. Taking bold actions, saying your pizza sucks, you know, being the first brand to step out with dropping a pin for delivery of food, those are bold actions that generally resonate with our customers and bring loyalty back in. Challenging everything. So from a media standpoint, like we look at all of our digital media and analyze the investments based off of incremental return on ad spend. We're not looking at, you know, attributed revenue. We're looking at the real incrementality of every activity from a media standpoint, from a technology standpoint. And so data is king in, in order to be able to challenge things, you need to have the data. But we do break apart everything and have worked really hard with our publishers and partners to do that. And last, our second, our sixth 
Lord, I'm all over the place. Six is get innovation ready. So if you you need to have that agility to be able to pivot and move your organization. During the middle of the pandemic, we launched neuro autonomous delivery because it was relevant at the time. We launched contactless delivery where we could drop off a pizza in your front doorstep without having to come out. And so we were able to do some of those changes so quickly because we, we structure our organization in a way where if we need to pivot, the entire organization can pivot so that we're always ready for the next innovation. We find innovation as advertising. This innovation of pinpoint delivery, at the end of the day, it's a tech innovation, leveraging mapping technologies in a way that they've not been leveraged before. But it also makes a really good ad that's gonna drive people to the brand as well. And so innovation also can drive um, your customers. And finally, we're a work in progress brand. We're constantly evolving. We're never at perfect. Um, and we accept that, we embrace that because that's how we continue to challenge ourselves and get better. So these are the eight tenets uh, of Domino's and that is my presentation for you today. So thank you all. Have a great rest of your conference.